On some days, your wavy curly hair tends to look flat. Serum won't fix it, adding oil won't fix it, and you might not have the time to refresh. The hairstyles that I'm showing you today are perfect for when your wavy curly hair looks flat or if you have low density hair in general. These hairstyles will definitely give you the appearance of having some volume and they take less than a few minutes to execute. And also, did I mention, it'll have you looking as cute as a button. Today, I'm showing you five hairstyles. Let's start with the first one. Using a small claw clip, clip the face framing pieces out of the way. Start with your hair in a middle part and guys, Gen Z would approve. Then take a few sections from either side of the middle part and take them to the back. Now loosely make a copa or a bun or a rosette and direct the hair in a circular manner. Now hold the hair in place with one hand and using some U-shaped pins, pin the bun in all directions. I would recommend using U-shaped pins in the smaller size as the rosette that you've created or rather the bun that you've created is also pretty small. This hairstyle is so pretty because it almost gives you the look of having a rosette in your hair. It's cute, it's romantic, it's feminine and also saves you on days when your hair is flat and frizzy or if you're in between haircuts like I am right now. Now, on to hairstyle number two. Start with the middle part and leave some hair from the front sections. Be delicate while separating your curl clumps and don't take them apart. Now, direct section of hair into a bun or a rosette. Secure the bun using the smallest sized U-pins you can find. Make sure to use at least four pins and your rosettes should be secure. Now repeat the same steps on the other side. Remember that your buns are meant to be sisters and not twins. So don't worry about the size and the shape. You can always tease them and make them look fuller or thicker based on your preference. You don't have to stop there. You can also embellish these with some cute accessories or clips. Or, of course, you can leave them as is. 
This hairstyle is also such a serve. Now on to hairstyle number 3. For this hairstyle, you're going to want to direct all of your hair backwards. Then just take a tiny section of hair from your temple area. You can take a rectangular section or you can take a triangular section. Just like you would when you're making a front puff. Then just clip the hair in place with a small claw clip. Now all you have to do is fluff, finesse and direct this small ponytail on both sides of your head. This is a hairstyle that saved me so much during my curly transition. You'll see me wear this in a lot of my older videos. It gives you some insane volume and fullness, especially on days when your hair looks really flat. Again, this hairstyle is also such a serve. Now on to hairstyle number 4. Start with the middle parting and move the face framing pieces out of the way. Now just take 2 or 3 curl clumps from the front of your part and twist them. Take both these sections to the back of your head and clip them up in place with a small claw clip. You can stop right here. However, you could also embellish this with a nice big satin bow. These are just some bows that I DIY'd using some satin fabric. If you want a tutorial, thumbs up the video and leave me a comment. Now for the last hairstyle. First start by moving the face framing pieces aside and give your hair a little fluff. Clip the face framing pieces away. Take two or three curl clumps and then pin them down with a small claw clip. See where it looks the most flattering? Play around with where you want to place the clips so that it looks even on both sides. Finesse a little bit and you'll find the place where it looks most flattering. Now just unclip the face framing sections, fluff and finesse as needed and your hairstyle is complete.
All right, so these were my five super simple, super easy, wavy curly hairstyles for girls. For more hairstyles, feel free to check out my playlist on curly hairstyles. I'm gonna keep on adding to this playlist. And so if you enjoy this video, then make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on my upcoming videos. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Michelle and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.